right, first deck of the day. Go easy or go hard, Ezreal. Uh, Mid-range deck. Obviously, uh, the primary cards in this deck are go hard. This uh, KDH uh, promo promo card, I guess you could say, that was released to the game uh, in an event that has recently just ended. And Ezreal, uh, who saw some recent changes uh, in a uh, more recent balance patch. So main idea of the deck, control the board, picking apart our opponents using uh, our slew of cheap uh, blockers and go hard, draw through our deck and try to get the uh, pack your bags to clear away the opponent's bigger threats, deal damage to their nexus, and finish them off with a leveled Ezreal. Uh, dealing damage with uh, to the Nexus directly with every spell we cast. So, yeah, pretty much just like a kind of a mid-range deck that's just, again, so you just have like these decent early game to control the board, apply pressure, and then we're just looking to close games out with a leveled Ezreal and our uh, pack your bags after casting Go Hard several times. Welcome, Ober, Commandant. What's going on? Yeah, new webcam. Um... So now you guys get to look at my ugly face while we play games. Isn't it great? Well, stick around and we can teach you. We can teach you the glory that is uh, Runeterra. It's a very good game. If you like card games, it's probably, you know, it's, it's definitely worth a try. Since it is free to play. No, no reason not to try it, right? Uh, what's worth mentioning in this deck? So, I mean, obviously, to, in order to level Ezreal, we have a lot of cards that can target our opponents things like vile feast and the aforementioned go hard let us drain one as well so we can keep our life total a little bit high against aggressive decks uh, the nice thing about vile feast is that it creates a body that we can then sacrifice to glimpse beyond to draw through our deck looking for more copies of go hard to eventually level it up so to speak into a pack your bags Elise is great in this deck. She's the other champion we're running, even though she, this deck isn't really about her. Um, she's just a solid 2-drop. Two 2-3 two, for 2 with Fearsome and creates a 1-1 one, one every, every time she attacks. Means that she's great at applying pressure in decks where... Or in matches where we're the aggressor. And great at controlling the board in decks where we need to take on a more controlling role. But, uh, and then of course we have just a, a slew of cards that let us churn through our deck, Rummage, Glimpse Beyond, Progress Day. We have some Vengeances here at the top end to help us deal with bigger threats that our damage base removal isn't efficient at dealing with. Thermo Beam in the deck for the same reason. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I think that's enough preamble. We'll just jump into some games and see how we do. I think, uh... Try the uh, we'll try the rank ladder for this for a bit and see how we do. I think this deck is considered pr pretty reasonable right now. I'm not very experienced with it, so we'll see. You are in the top ten cards right now. Good for you. Good to see a stream of a game you don't know. Yeah, I mean I do that I do that often. I watch I I mostly watch streams of games that I don't play. Cause if I, it, you know. I just there's a lot of interesting games uh, to 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 experience, but you don't necessarily have the time to play the time and money to put into all of them, right? So that's a decent opening hand. One drop into two for Elise. Glimpse Beyond that we can use on either the spider she creates or this to like start drawing. I don't think we need a progress day in our opening hand too soon though. Deck ideas? Yeah. Well, the expansion's right around the corner, so... That's definitely something I'm personally looking forward to. Do we just attack into this with the hopes of finishing off, finishing it off with a go-hard? I think I'm fine with that. This means he can't just attack into our 1-1, one -one, and also we could just kill him with a go-hard if we want to. Season ends before. Yeah, I know, but I'm lo I'm personally looking forward to the next expansion. I wonder if he'll try to save this. This might not be worth it, honestly. Maybe I'm just supposed to get down Elise and then open attacks because this can't block. Of 
Unfortunately, that thing's secondary effect goes off, so we still get to. Uh... Yeah, I've been keep. I've been looking at all the cards. Yamato seems interesting. Let me guide you. You won't suffer long. So Soraka can't block us because her attack isn't high enough. We can get in for two here, bank this spell mana. Yamato seems interesting. It's like it's like a insurance against the sweepers, right? You can you you're not if you have Yamato in hand, you're not afraid to develop the board more. Am I supposed to Mystic shot the 2-2 before she can revive it? I think so. You've healed damage allies four times. It also like slows down her trigger. Let's try it. I think we'll just glimpse beyond this spiderling to draw two cards and then we'll bank this two spell mana that we can use on the mystic shot as real crates next turn. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Depending on what they play, we might even be able to get in with the Elise as well. I haven't really been looking that closely at what, like, what nations got what Elites. They all seem pretty neat. This is, like, annoying, but not the biggest deal because we have a backup Ezreal. Six five ambush fighter for four, but doesn't it have a downside? Isn't it like both players draw? No, your opponent draws a second card every turn or something like that. I can't recall. Uh, it draws the enemy two cards, <laughs> and you won though. Okay, so it nets them one more card than you. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess we just need to start shooting these, huh? Okay, there's our third go hard that we need. I think I want to play it now just to maximize our chances of drawing the pack your bags. We also have this rummage to help us do that as well. The possibilities are infinite. That's a glimpse beyond to help us do that as well. Live with porpoise. <laughs> All right, there's the pack your bag you were looking for. Time for a true display of skill. Propagating quite the appetite. <laughs> I see feast in your future. 
That's sort of interesting because it's like with the mystic shot this can potentially create we can level Ezreal. Probably gonna try to eat him, but then like there's a good chance we could just clear their board and get him back. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. Of Watch and learn. We could use a bite. I would love to kill Soraka too, but I think I have to be a little careful about what I'm targeting with my abilities this round because I really don't want to lose an Ezreal to this Tom Kench and then never see it again. Like in theory these two are enough to kill him but their archetype runs a lot of healing so I have to be wary. Another Very annoying. Well, we're going to try this, but I'm assuming it's not going to go as well as we hope. Here's hoping that at best he has a guiding touch, which we can kind of negate with this mystic shot. And then we have this progress day in hand, which is nice so we can gas back up. Ugh, that's really annoying because I can pop the... Um, I can pop the barrier with Mystic Shot, but then he's not dead to the pack your bags. I think it's still worth doing though, because it'll bring his health total really, really low. Yeah, either way, I'm interested in seeing the new the new cards in action. It should be very fun. I'm sure there's something for my taste. We shall weave our own destiny. Well, that's annoying. Now they're gonna fully heal everything. Let's just pass because it's pretty obvious they're gonna attack. And if they don't, that just means, like, Chaos. that's great for us if they want to just end the turn. With purpose. What's in store for me? Uh, I need time for computer. You know. That's a vengeance. That's kind of nice. Problem 
is they're getting very close to their win con here. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Hmm. The sun rock got me good. See if they have another bastion. The HP, yeah, that's the HP. So, but they they have a card in play that just needs to see them heal their heal their units twenty two for twenty two or more damage, and then they win the game. So, there's a good chance we can't quite beat them on their race to their win condition. Our win condition is like casting this card enough times to get like. A deal five to everything. And just one more of those plus like one of our burn spells can get there, but I don't think we have time. They heal at round end. So let's just pass then. Now they're getting even more healing. So now it doesn't matter if we play this because... But I don't even know if I'm supposed to play this because we want to maximize our chances of finding like a leveled Ezreal or a progress day. And if I play this, it's just going to put two more copies of this in the deck, which is not really where we want to be right now. Yeah, I don't think we got it. I don't think there's a draw that wins us the game anymore. I needed like an... I needed to find our Ezreal. They had like double hush. They had hush both times when we tried to attack with our Ezreal. Actually, they had hush and pale cascade both times to kill our Ezreal. And that really was unfortunate for us in this game. Not really sure there's anything we can do meaningfully. I told your ancestors to protect! With purpose. A tribute to the Spider God. Yeah, we don't have enough to, to, to beat this. What a tangled web. I feel like the game was pretty close. Again, like, we just needed to dodge... We needed one of our Ezreals to live and start generating value. But again, they had the Hush and Pale Cascade to get enough damage to kill them both times. Maybe I, maybe I was too aggressive with the Ezreal? I, I don't know, though. I don't really know, like, what, what, what else can we do in those instances? Wait for us to have enough mana to, like, vengeance them when they try to do that? I don't know. I don't think that's realistic. I'm just gonna have to hope they don't have it there. Hmm. Maybe a thermal beam to kill one of their big nasty threats is good. I don't think I want the four drop in my opening hand. 
I think the rest of these two can go. I'm just looking for like early plays. This is not bad because we can get off to a little bit of an aggressive start. This is, if they don't have a turn one play, this is three damage that we're putting on the board and we're cycling. That's kind of interesting too, because now we can cycle both of these for value. Wouldn't be surprised to see them play a thing now. I'm always curious as to why why he didn't just open with this. Like, did they did they really just want to bank a spell man? I pulled the strings. We'll see if they have the three two. That... Well, I just won't attack, obviously. This is probably going to be a turn where we just bank spell mana. Depends on what they do. Might be right to just cycle these. Bask in her radiant blessings. But no, I think I want to bank some spell mana, actually. Next turn they could play um, Leona, and I'd like to use Thermo Beam to kill her. I guess I could use Vengeance, too. Ooh, a bit of a hiccup there. I don't know what that was. Wouldn't be surprised to see them block here, but I mean, that's fine. Hmm. So they've invoked two cards in their hand so far. Maybe it was wrong not to do this because if we find an Ezreal now, I'll be sad that we didn't attack. That egg, did it move? Quite the dish, aren't you? I think just to use up my mana, I'll do this because we have a Vengeance rolled up in hand anyway. Is that right? I don't know if that's right. Okay, finally seeing some of our Gohards. We also have a progress day we could spend resources on, depending on what they do this turn, which is nice. I kind of want to play this after I play this, though. We can't do both this turn. They're definitely more of a controlling deck based on their champion's selection. And we are a, uh... We're more mid-rangey, so this could end up being a tough... tough game for us. Vengeance is a... Vengeance is basically a samurai blade. <laughs> Kill, it kills any unit. At instant speed. If you're familiar with Magic the Gathering. Yeah, fast means uh, it can be cast in response to other spells or in the middle of combat. Unlike slow spells like this one, which... Uh, you can only cast when you have priority. Like now. Yeah. So there's three speeds to every card in this game. Slow, which passes your turn. Fast, which will also pass your turn, but they can also be cast in response to things. And Burst, which you can cast 
on your when you have priority and in response to things, but it doesn't pass priority. So I can I can cast this burst spell and it will still be my turn to play another card. They're probably gonna end up passing. Let's just uh, thermal beam her. Maybe it's right to vengeance her actually, because then I can bank one spell mana. Hmm, not too sure. If they, depending on how they attack here, will block in such a way that we can get value off of this go hard. Like we're basically just gonna, we're gonna throw a blocker in front of all of these, I think. Actually, maybe not that one, because I don't think it's necessary. But these are each dead to our go hards now, so that's nice. And actually, we're going to start our next turn by go hitting this with Go Hard, which has the potential to mean that this gets to attack and create a spider. It's doubtful, but there's a chance. I don't think we're going to play anything else this turn necessarily. It might be worth playing the Vile Feast because we can only bank three of the five mana we'll have left for next turn. But I kind of want cards to discard to this rummage, potentially, so... Okay, that's one of the cards that they invoked. Um... There's another go hard, that's nice. Now I might play this and then progress day. Maximize our chances of drawing even more. Now I kind of want to vengeance this. She could have a, they could have a Bastion to protect it. But I guess we can pop the Bastion with his Vile Feast. Yeah, this game's really well polished. None are lost. They only await the dawn. They must have forgotten. Yeah, they forgot that they've already triggered. Uh... Yeah. Devotion through battle. might be annoying, so I'm just gonna do this. How much... How far away are we from leveling Ezreal? Just one more target, so this Vengeance would do it. We'd still need to find him, though. Uh, are we just progress staying? Or do we want to hold up Vengeance? I'm gonna pass first and see what they do. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight. 
light surrounds you. Yeah, that's the other card I was afraid of. This guy, this big boy. Okay, Ezreal's leveled, which is nice. The problem is I just don't know. I, I just don't know how we're winning the game at this point. To be honest. Daylight surrounds you. Okay, apparently they don't have any more copies of that in their deck because they didn't draw it. Sunlight guided, my brethren. Tread carefully. My spirit shines. Throw that guy away as a like a gain for basically, but uh, okay. Do they have the big Dargan? <laughs> Progress day hitting this card kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Dragon or another Leona? Yeah, I know. We're basically searching our deck for a Leopold at this point. Our pack, we're gonna be, we, we're looking for a card in our deck that'll deal five to the entire board. Which will still kill this because it's only got five health. is just supposed to thermo beam this guy so he doesn't get like a billion daybreak triggers or alternatively I can just discard these two hoping to find what we're looking for digging really deep for it right now Alright, we found it, but it's like, it might be a little late at this point. I'm just going to pass the turn. I want to make them spend more resources. Like if they found 
If they found uh, Aurelian Soul, I want to be able to pop his spell shield with this and then kill him with the Thermo Beam, I think. Then maybe this Ezreal will, like, help us finally close out the game, but I doubt it. Oh, if only those would, were double pack your bags. Witness glory! Going down to three if I don't block. How valuable is this it will all be over gonna soon. be? Probably not anymore. So I'll just block. So damn skilled. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. So unfortunately, we don't have enough resources to pop the spell shield and um, finish him off. Let's see if he'll let us get in for two here. Alright, let's just try to kill stuff. Especially with this progress day, because we're gonna do this, play another one, draw a bunch of cards, hopefully. finish him off and hope he doesn't have Bastion because he could definitely have Bastion It's not bad. Can put a couple more of these in the deck. Draw, draw a bunch with progress day.
Hmm. Yeah, like I said <laughs> several rounds ago, I don't know how we win this game. Warriors of the sun's Their true stuff life. is just too big. Follow the horizon. Now, with, now especially with that uh, that play of theirs, I don't think we can win. Now everything in their deck is plus two, plus two bigger. Don't blink, or you miss me. Okay, if there's a way for us to get back in this game, it definitely involves an Ezreal going off. So far, in both the games we've played, we haven't actually gotten to really use Ezreal. They've just always had some way to interact with him. I'm assuming it's going to be no different here. Well, I think we have to attempt to save him here. Stop bragging if you can back it up. Come on, play a unit. There you go. Um, sure. I think I want to just play this out as a blocker, and eh, maybe not. Oh wait, we're just dead, right? Because this thing's elusive? Yeah, we're dead. Like, we can block with our Ezreal here to not be dead, but we're just, we can never win, right? Who's winning? They're definitely winning. Your favorite star. I created it. We actually got them down pretty low. Feel like if we had gotten that Ezreal a round or two earlier, and well, I mean, we, I think we. We did, but we just didn't stick. If we had gotten an Ezreal to stick around a round or two previous to that, we might have actually just been able to burn them out from 20. <laughs> so far, this deck has felt kind of rough. Okay, that's an aggressive deck, so in theory we should be well positioned against it. So let's see if we can do okay. Yeah, I think I like this hand. Something to deal with one of their bigger threats, a go hard to start leveling that up. Our main uh, win condition and then a decent one drop. To, uh, to help slow them down. They're on the attack as well, so this is pretty, yeah, this is a pretty good keep. If they play an X1, we'll definitely just hit it with Go Hard. Otherwise, we're just going to play our 1-1 one, one out. To 
sake. Did it move? We'll still block here because then it puts her dead to this go hard, which will also recover the one damage her trigger is going to cause. Gonna save this thermal beam for either a misfortune or um, either a misfortune or possibly even a gangplank if the game gets to that point. And we need we need it for such a thing. Maybe I'm not supposed to swing here with this because we'd actually like to block something and then glimpse this to draw to. Which we could do the following turn, because we could just bank this spell mana. And I think on the next turn what we want to do is play an Ezreal. So that we can start shooting their stuff on our next attack step. So turn four, essentially. We might want to... Eh, we're probably just supposed to go hard this, actually. Instead of banking two spell mana. We'll see what they do. Because this kills this, which means it doesn't trigger anymore, and it recovers the one life we lost in, in round one. Coming in hot! Definitely just gonna block and glimpse, I think, this round. Hmm. Now I kind of want to thermo beam that. If we do, it means that next turn we can't get value off of this Ezreal. But I think it's right in order to keep our health total high. Because if I don't kill this now, it's dealing four to us this round, and good chance it's gonna it's gonna be a problem to deal with the following round, depending on what our draws look like. Now we have a vengeance for something big and scary, so yeah, I think I'm just supposed to kill this. But I'm not gonna chump block here because I want something to sacrifice to this glimpse beyond. So maybe it's kind of a wash. I don't know. That's a vile face, that's not the worst. If I just play this out, there's a good chance they have a Noxian Fervor to trade with it before I can get value off of it, so I don't think I'm supposed to do that. I think I gotta keep him in hand for the, for the following turn. This rummage not looking very good right now. Hopefully we can find some jury rigs to fuel it. Keep up, keep up. Hmm. Well, that's also kind of annoying because now that blocks Ezreal. Now I think I'd do it just to spend my mana though. Asked. Now that I know he can't kill him. Another thermal beam's okay. We have six mana, so we could go like Vile Feast, Glimpse Beyond. And then thermal beam this. So that we can get a good attack with Ezreal the following turn. But here's where I could see him Noxian fervoring. Oh, that's interesting. He's going for the throat rather than Ez. It's probably fine. There's plenty of killing there. Shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. That's a lot of Where stuff. Point that thing. Who's gonna get in my way? No sweat. Yeah. 
these aren't exactly the draws I'm looking for this game. Okay, we'll do this. We'll open attacks next turn. Maybe the mystic shot he creates plus the static shot shot can do some stuff. It's a backup Ezreal, so that's kind of interesting. Our health total is already pretty low, though. They could just easily burn us out from here. All, all it will take is two decimates. Maybe I mismanaged my resources a bit this game. Aren't any gods here? Just me. Yeah, that's that's a jack. the good guys but not that good yikes i pull the strings victory at any cost come stay a while We're just dead, right? Like, they're gonna be able to cause another two damage. Oh. I guess this heals us heals one. I'm gonna pass and see what they do. this deck. Don't know about this one. It seemed interesting when I was like watching other people play it, but it doesn't feel very good so far. I feel like it needs more troops. It just needs like early blockers. That could also double as threats if you're if you need to be aggressive. Do I want this many Gohards in the deck? We're, f we're facing a Fiora Sejuani deck. That's interesting. I'm actually here. Could block that, I suppose. I think it's fine. I'll do my best. We'll just. Play Elise, see if we can uh, get a free spider. But we'll see if they have a 3 plus power unit to block it. Jim and Tonic, that's a good, that's a good username. I, I approve of that. 
Now they could obviously have a buff for this, but I don't really care. Oh ho, you've activated my trap card opponent. From my pets. Hmm. For the honor, try me. This probably won't work, but let's give it a try. We must all make sacrifices. Goes the spider. Hmm. This is worth doing because if we draw one off the top of the deck, we can fin potentially finish it off. It also means that she can't do something like, um... She can't do something like... What the heck's the word I'm looking for? Single combat? That's it. pop that barrier. New recruit reporting in. I'm gonna do this. Hope that it kills her. Maybe this vile feast can finish her in response. Counter and strike. Okay, do they have do they have the one mana plus two defense card? Yay! We got her. Just gonna end the round here. There's a good chance we might want to Zonite Urchin. Um, away that. But now with this, I think we just want to do this. Let's see if we can find an Ezreal. Nope. Okay. I long for a Damn it! <laughs> So for those who don't know, who might be watching that are from my card streams, Fiora is a challenger that if she kills four of your units and survives, essentially, you, you win the game. So... She's basically got an alternate win condition. Um... There's nothing to fear. She had nothing to play, or did they accidentally pass? Uh, it can be a frustrating card to play, but it's mostly balanced. It's 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 not a problematic card. It just all it honestly honestly depends on the matchup. There are certain matchups where it feels impossible, and other matchups where the card feels really really bad. Because they're most decks that are using her and trying to use her to, uh, and win with her win condition. Um, they're really all in on that. Um, part of me thinks I'm supposed to let that hit, but if that's the case, then what's going to end up happening is that she levels up, and I don't want future copies of her to be leveled up. So we're just going to do this. Debate. 
think we'll just bank the spell mana here. Another go hard is nice, so we can start that train again. Pain is nothing. We'll go ahead and start with this because that puts her in range of dying to pack your bag. That egg, did it move? Quite the dish, aren't you? <laughs> Okay. Stand and fight. Get me out of here. Our progress day found a progress day and made it one cheaper. That's very nice. thing or am I glimpse I think I want to save glimpse for when we use one of these as a blocker okay we're gonna try to kill this with this and then finish Sejuani off with the thermo beam seen that before. That's another go hard. That's nice. Gotcha. Doing this to keep our life total high. Okay, opponent doesn't want to play anymore. Sure. Take away our fun. The one game we finally win, we don't even get the... See if we can get some better matchups with this deck. I've already been playing it for an hour, but I kind of want to play it a little bit more to give it its fair shake. We'll do two, two or three more and see if we can do. Okay, revenge against pirate pirate egg, bro. Let's see if we can make up for our for the last time. These are probably a bit expensive. I don't know about the glimpse beyond necessarily. I kind of want jury rig to go with this. Yeah, these are okay, I suppose. I have my orders. Yeah, okay. Doesn't feel good, but okay, that's an Ezreal, so that's nice. In position behind you. Nothing to nothing. Easy block. Damn it. Now we get the jury rig. I don't bite. Spit her out from the darkness. I'm fine with any block he makes here. If he wants to eat the 1-1, one, one, that means we, they just died of Wild Feast. Hmm. Another Elise isn't bad. I'll shoot the wings off a build wasp. With that, then, I think I want to play I this. In the shadows. Ready? Aim? Captain's orders! It will all be over. 
I'm assuming they're doing this to trigger plunder. And we're gonna see like two three threes on their side of the table. There's one. Oh, just one? Sure. Let's see if we can get Ezreal going. Gotta go with the flow. Basically the same difference, except I get it. I get to deal one here, so we can't use the mystic shot that we create, but dealt one damage. So these two get him to four out of six. Yeah. Who's ready for a shot? Where are you? A pretty present you make. Please, I have connections! We can actually level up Elise here. Just about. And then actually use her to kill Jack. Which I think is important. You might be wrong not to use this as a game three, however. Smooth as silk. I promise the blood boss. Well now the question is do we like try to race them? Or is that greedy? The thing is, this deals two to one of their things, and we could kill it in response if they try to use it. They know this, however, so they might play a, a, another unit out that has more than two of health. Explosives primed. This is a slow spell too, so they can't do it in response to this. And now if they want to pass, we're just going to bank our spell mana. kind of want to play this, but I kind of want to make sure that this is just dead. But I also want to find a way to deal with this, too. I could, I could end up just throwing this Elise in front of it, I suppose. Yeah, I think, I'll, I think we have to wait to see what they do. Taking four here. 
I don't think I can in good conscience block with the Ezreal. Let's not do that. Actually kind of nice because now we can rummage. This levels up Ezreal too, which I like. Up as. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. One shot, all skill. I think we have to do this not to be dead to another um, decimate. Oh, that was wrong because we have a level D lease. So if they had just played that before the attack, we, we would have died. I don't miss. And that, the, the fact that we didn't keep that spider from earlier is a big deal here. Because we could have actually hooked this to get her out of the way and deal uh, guaranteed lethal amounts of damage. Yeah, well, oh, she's fearsome. They, this can't block anyway, right? Fortune favors. Wow, we just got there. That was a close one. Based on the hand we had, it was a mistake of our for our opponent not to just play out the Corsair and attack with it that turn, because they would have gotten a guaranteed one extra damage to kill us. However, you know, they didn't know what we had in hand. But like on average, I'm wondering like, is it is it correct to do what they did? Hard to say. I think we'll play one more with this deck and then move on to the next. We'll do this one and then call it a call it a day. I know what lurks in the shadows. 
shadows. That's an Elise. So they're gonna get a Spooter. We could start getting Spooters of our own, or I could bank the spell mana such that um, Ezreal can start popping, you popping people. I think that's what I want to do. We'll just pass then. Taking nine. One, two. This would do five. I pull the strings. We can go we'll go back up to ten. Now they could have another Risen Mists to allow them to block this Elise. Sure, or, get, or they could do something like that. Um, I mean, I'll just do this then. burn two of their spell mana. So we already have uh, enough Gohards to have a Sweeper rolled up. Let's see what they got from their Stalking Shadows. Yeah, we're about to make a big boom. If we can find... The card. Play this out because it's resource efficient. We'll bank this three spell mana. We'll probably, eh, we might progress day next turn. It's a little worrying if that's the card that they got off of their stalking shadows. Stop bragging if you can back it up. Can't stop me. Is this worth killing in response? Is this worth killing in response? I think so. We lose a lot of mana. I'd rather progress day this round. But I also like the idea, oop, I also like the idea of them not drawing cards. 
and leveling Ezreal. Well, that's not going to stop me doing my thing. Charge! I'm so good, I surprise myself! Do I need to Vile Feast here? Yes, because I don't have enough blockers for these um, units as is. It does mean I don't get to glimpse beyond one of my guys. rates. Yeah, we can't block them, unfortunately. Um, best we could do is like this, this, and that. So yeah, it's GG. He had, uh, his leftovers were kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't know about that deck. It's kind of fun, but it's not very powerful, so kind of miserable at the same time. Like, it's fun because it's mostly playing with champions and cards that I haven't, like, I'm not super familiar with. Um, so playing with new stuff is always fun, but it, it kind of seemed kind of miserable. Like it, we didn't seem very decent in the even in against the aggressive decks, because we just didn't have good ways of controlling the board and also gaining a ton of life. Like yeah, go hard and things like vile fees give you a little bit of life, but it feels like we need something like withering whale in addition in order to actually have enough life gain to, to stay alive in these games so that we can actually find uh, our gohards and win games with it. In the end, we ultimately seem like we were just a little bit too short from taking taking control of the of those games. And, and it doesn't seem like we're fast enough against the control decks either, but I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missequencing my... Uh, my plays in in, a, in in such a way i'd have to look back at the replays or watch how other people play the deck perhaps and get an understanding all right with that we'll